Yeah. Well, you're hoping if we're in first place in February, uh, you know, then guys want to sign. You know, guys will want to stay and they'll be excited and they're happy and, you know, they're having fun, hopefully. And, and then it does change things. So I do think it's a little bit of they want to wait and see approach to see how the season's going to start. And, and we're doing the same thing. They haven't said to me, I want to be traded. I don't want to be here. You know, I think it's uh, the way the season went last year. It wasn't exactly the way we wanted to. Obviously, we had high expectations. We didn't live up to them, and, and not making the playoffs was a big disappointment. So I think everybody just uh, wants to see. You know, I think with Ryan and myself being new, I think they're just, they want to see where this team's at. And I understand that. That's their right, you know, and obviously, you know, we're going to work through that together the rest of the way. Yeah, I just feel like, uh, you know, last year I didn't really know what I was coming into, I think it's it was different for me. But now it's it's nice to be like finally settled. You know, got a house here, and uh, you know I I know where I'm, you know what to expect, and uh, it's fun. I think I feel way more comfortable and happy to be here. I think there's just a lot to digest. Last summer after after the year we had, not making the playoffs, and um, you know a lot of expectations on the team. And for me personally, you know, I just want to see uh, you know how this year kind of played out a little bit and, and take my time a little bit, but. Uh, you know, it's a it's a big year for the group and, and a big bounce back year for us and, and me individually as well. So, um, you know, I'm excited to get it going. Well, you know, I think the one thing they talked about last year, maybe it wasn't fun. They weren't having fun. It was a disappointing year. I think you get them back together where one year, all the new guys have been here a year now. They feel that much more comfortable. I mean, talking to Huberto over the summer, uh, you know, especially, he just feels so much more comfortable, excited to be here, excited to be back, and, and looking forward to it. And he knows what it's all about. Now he's been in a year in a Canadian market. He's lived in Calgary for a year. And, uh, you know, just just talking to him on a daily basis. It's exciting for me because he's got a, a real good attitude coming in, and we want to get off to a good start. And I think that's that's what they feel they feel the same way. We never found like our identity, and this year that's what we got to do. We got to find you know what kind of team we are, and be a tough team to play every night. And I think that that's going to be your goal to to see that with the you know new new coaching staff and you know new GM with with Connie. So I see the optimism, and the, everybody is excited for for this year. You know, I think right now it's just about having a good camp. You know, kind of focusing on the now and coming out and having a good start with the team and, and, and winning some hockey games and, and seeing where it goes from there. You know, it's a great group of guys, a great organization, so many good people here. I love the city. Um, you know, so I'm just, uh, I'm just excited to see how it plays out a little bit. No, I love it here. I love, uh, you know, Canada as a, as a country and Calgary as a city. And, and, you know, ever since I got here, it's been great. Fans has been good and, and uh, you know, everyone's treated me well and, and you know, great teammates and, and you know, everything else. So, uh, you know, so far so good and, and yeah. What's it gonna take for uh, for it to get over the finish line? I mean, there's a lot, but you know, we gotta work it out, and you know, but uh, right now I'm focusing on on the season, and, and the rest will take care of itself.